Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to show you my quick 15 minute or so makeup routine. I don't often do my makeup um, or have a big reason to do my makeup, but when I have an excuse and I have 15 minutes or so to get ready, I like to make myself look good because then I feel good. So, if you like these kind of videos, then keep on watching and see how I do my makeup. I'll always be a fan of old stray dogs and guitars playing. Wonder who church is back road walks and front porch swinging. The sunset skies bump by nights. I love the simple things. That's how I'll always be. We're going to go in with our primer. This is the Origins Pore Perfecting Cooling Primer with Willow Herb. I was sent this from Influencer to give it a try, and I really, really love it. It's a nice little foam, and it's super cold, but you're just going to apply this all over your face. And the smell isn't all that great, but by the time you're done applying it, the smell has pretty much gone away. So it's not really that much of a con and some people love the smell so you never know. Alright, now we're going to go in with some chapstick. This is just Burt's Bees but you can use whatever kind you like. I like to apply this at the beginning and just let it soak in until the end when I do my lips. So now we're going to go in with our foundation. This is the CoverGirl Vitalist Healthy Elixir in 705 Ivory. Unfortunately my pump broke so I have to apply it this way. Looks kind of silly but it works. And there's too much foundation in this little jar to just throw it all away. It is a full coverage foundation with SPF 20 and it doesn't break the bank so I enjoy it gonna go in and blend it in with this beauty blender I did dampen it and I like to use the larger side of the beauty blender I know some people like to only use the sides or the tip but when you're on short time it's just easier to just get it done and kind of smear it around everywhere I like to put it on my eyes again short time I don't always put a primer on my eyelids so this kind of just doubles as that. Next we're going to go in with concealer. This is the NYX Gotcha Covered Waterproof Concealer in Light. I just put a little bit on my fingertip and wipe it underneath my eyes. On date night and stuff like that I will add more concealer just to brighten up the under eye area. But for everyday errands I only do a little bit and then I will just blend it out with my beauty blender. Now I'm going to go in with that beauty blender. It's the same one from the foundation. This time I'm going to use the very tip so I can get in the inner corner of my eye and really close to my bottom lash line and just go down the side of the nose, pull under the eye, and then extend out towards my hairline. Alright, next we're going to go in and start our eyes. This is the LA Colors Eyeshadow Palette in Nude. And first I'm going to go in with this light brown matte shade. This is going to act as my transition and base color. I always like to choose a matte shade that's just a couple of tones darker than my actual skin tone. And it will help all the other colors blend more evenly and reduce any kind of harsh lines. So I'm just doing this with my Sephora crease brush and we're going to put it about the outer third of the eyelid and up into the crease and out just a little bit and then we're going to go in with our 
Sephora packing brush and I'm going to pick this lighter red shade and I like to use the warmer colors on my eyes with my eyes being green I feel like that tends to make my green eyes pop more so we're just gonna pack this all over the eyelid from corner to corner Now we're going to grab that crease brush again and we're going to pick up this darker reddish brown shade and put this just on the outer corner of our eyes and up into the crease just a little bit. This is going to tie together the lighter reddish shade that we put on our lids and the lighter matte brown that we put into the crease as our transition. All right, so the basic eyeshadow is done, and now I'm going to move on to my NYX No Filter Finishing Powder in the shade Porcelain, and I'm just using a Real Techniques powder brush to put this all over my face. And I don't know why I tend to do this after my eyeshadow, but it's just habit now, and I find that it actually helps hide any fallout from the eyeshadow, so I guess that's why I keep doing it. So now I'm going to go in with some blush. This is the NYX Baked Blush Illuminator and Bronzer in the shade Foreplay. It's nice and shimmery with some color. And I'm just using my Sephora Complexion Brush to apply this to the apples of my cheeks and just back a little bit. Now I'm going to go in with my blush and bronzer palette from Profusion and I'm going to pick up this light bronze shade as my contour and I am just using my Real Techniques multitask brush and I like to tilt my head and see exactly where the light hits my cheekbones and then apply the bronzer just underneath that. And then I'll also apply it to my jawline and up near my hairline. And again, this is just really, really quick. And most of it's just habit, but it works. Now I'm going to take my Sephora fan brush and I'm picking up this nude highlight shade and just putting it on the highest point of my cheekbones. I will also put this down my nose and on my forehead just a little bit. It's not too overwhelming, so I think that's why I like it so much for an everyday highlight. Now I'm going to bring back that blush that we used just a minute ago and just apply a little bit more color. Sometimes it tends to get a little bit washed out when you are adding the bronzer and highlight. I will also add it to the tip of my nose and just a little bit on my forehead. Now going back to eyes, I'm going to use my Lush Paradise Mascara from L'Oreal. And this is by far my favorite mascara, if you cannot tell by the look of the tube. It has met my hand many, many times. And there's no limit to how many coats of mascara you would like to apply. My rule is the more the better, because you can't really go wrong. Alright, so almost forgot about my brows, but luckily I caught a good glimpse of myself and we're going to fix that now. Going in with my NYX 3-in-1 Brow Pencil in the shade Brunette. It is a pencil, powder, and mascara, so a one-stop shop for all of your brow needs. I start by just underlining my brows to give it a more defined shape underneath, and then fill them in a little bit as needed. I don't really like to outline the top. I feel like it makes the shape a little too harsh, so I am very careful when I'm trying to give that shape to my brows because I don't want them to look drawn on. 
So I try to keep it short, soft strokes, and then I will go in with the powder and fill in my brows even more, focusing on the inner parts of my brow because that is where my hair seems to be the most sparse. After that, I will go in with the mascara. I don't always do this, but I'm definitely in desperate need to do my eyebrows, so it is needed to tame those bad boys. All right, now we're gonna go in for the lips, and I'm using my L'Oreal Color Riche Lip Liner in Timeless Coral. And I like this so much because it's so close to my natural lip color that if I forget to put on lipstick, that it doesn't look all wonky. And I hate when you have really dark lip liner, something happens, especially with kids, you tend to get disturbed in the middle of doing something, and I will often forget to go back and complete it. So, outline my lips, fill them in just a little bit, and today we are going to go in with some lipstick. This is the Victoria's Secret Pure Metal Intense Lip Lacquer in the color Mesmerize. I was iffy when I bought this, but I went for it because I had a few extra bucks on a gift card and I actually really like it. It's a bit more intense, but it doesn't completely take over the look. So gives me a little bit of an edge, but doesn't look crazy. And it actually lasts a pretty long time without drying out my lips. You say hi? Hi! <laughs> Be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe. It really helps my channel out a lot. And I know to keep putting out more content for you guys. And yeah, now I have about 15 minutes before I have to leave to take Gunner to the dentist. So I'm going to find Harlow's other shoe and make sure he is ready. And then we are off. So I hope you guys enjoy and I'll see you next time. Bye. Say bye bye. Bye bye.